we are a hospital that's known for some pretty incredible firsts, particularly in women's health. When we set about to design this facility, we knew that we needed to talk to women. So we talked to over a thousand women from a very wide variety of backgrounds. We asked them to tell us what they wanted in a hospital that focuses on their health. These women didn't prescribe what the architecture should be, but they did, in a heartfelt way, explain how they wanted to feel when they came to the hospital. And these women told us that they want a hospital to be a place that inspires health, that inspires healing and community. This is exactly what the new Women's College Hospital is designed to be. They wanted a space where they felt heard, where they felt welcomed, where people spoke their language. The wonderful, wonderful insight that we gained out of all of this is that what works for women, which they told us loud and clear, actually works very well for the men that we serve as well. The pink cube is actually going to create an iconic visual for our new facility. It's very meaningful in that it will be a light-filled, beautiful space. The cube was envisioned as a marker, a beacon, that would let you know that you had reached Women's College. The iconic pink cube is going to be a focal point right at the center, right at the heart of our new facility. It will be unique, light-filled space where world-renowned experts in health and science will gather to work on advancing health for women everywhere. I think it will be a call to people as they come toward and, and enter into the hospital. It's really very symbolic of what we stand for. Once we are in the full new building, our scientists and researchers will be working side by side with our educators, with our learners, and with our clinicians, and with patients. That's a very, very unique approach and actually brings the best of all worlds to clinical care.